All right, guys. Kha'Zix. Cool champ. When Kha'Zix has not been visible, his next attack deals additional magic damage and slows. Okay, when he's not visible. Is that the thing? Uh, enemies with near with no nearby allies become isolated. Here's an example. That is isolation. This is not isolation. This is isolation. You can see the range of how it works. Not isolated. Actually, is there a way to see? Hold on a second. I need my cue, don't I? I need to get this right. There's the isolation. Okay. Not isolated. Isolated. Isolated? Really? Not isolated. Wow, that's pretty close. So it's... They've got to be... You've got to be pretty much on top of your teammate to avoid isolation damage. Fun fact. Um, this is where most of Kha'Zix damage comes from. This isolation. And then you have the... Uh, you have the W. Which is basically a single target... For a, uh, a skill shot, but it only it's, it shoots one missile. And then the E, which is a jump. So that's basically the core abilities. And then you have the ult, which allows you to go invisible briefly. Now, all these abilities have evolutions. As you can see, I've already evolved the R, which gives you a longer duration of invis. The W, when you evolve it, splits it. The Q, when you evolves it, and when you evolve, it gives you more damage. It also reduces the cooldown by a lot. So when you have evolved Q, you have a very low cooldown Q. And then the jump, when that's evolved, it just gives you a, a reset off each kill. And that's basically cause it. He's pretty simple. There's not a lot to this guy. Um, the main thing to understand about Kha'Zix is like, you really want to avoid this damage. This is where his damage comes from, usually. Is isolation. The build that we're running is a top build, which uh, plays off of Phase Rush and the W Evolve, which allows you to kind of control space and get in and get out um, and outplay people that way. So that's what we're going to be messing with in this game. And yeah, let's do it. Also, yeah, I guess the E does give a bigger jump, a slightly bigger jump. Forget about that part. Very simple. Very simple champ. All right, what is up, guys? It is Chilnies, and we are chilling yet again. And we're gonna try to make Kha'Zix top work. We'll have Phase Rush. Uh, we're rushing a tier. We're going Phase Rush, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, uh, Gathering Storm. We are going uh, Sudden Impact and Ultimate Hunter. And it is time to face a Darius matchup, which is very tough, obviously. But this build, the idea behind it. And I picked this build because, I don't know, the subreddit was submitting, like, weird stuff that's, like, there's no universe where it even works. Like, yes, we want off-meta, but we kind of want off-meta that works because this isn't other casual channels where we play against bronze players and rig the games. These are actual ranked games. We are in gold. We're chilling in gold. We got all the way here. Here we are. Trying to win with goofy stuff. For real though, I, I honestly have no idea how people watch content creators just like rig the games completely. That's to me that's like that's another that's another level. But we don't do that, do we? Not here. We actually try to beat real humans that are actually trying to win. All right, Darius matchup's pretty hard. If he pulls you in and gets to audio a bunch, you're dead in the water. So do not get grabbed without having E up. 
This also means that we have to concede. We have to concede the CS early on at least. And we will concede. We will try to get him to Q. If I can. Damn. I wanted him to Q the minions though. Perfect. That's what we want right there. That shove moves the minions forward. It moves them forward to us. Oof, no damage on Q early. Damn. I guess I do have a tier, huh? Tough matchup so far, which is to be expected, of course. It's a little excited to be here. He's kind of trying to bait me into going to ham. I believe this is a W max. Yes, it is. The wave's not in a great spot for him. The wave's pushing out. I'm gonna auto as far as he'll let me. I don't know why I didn't want to freeze it, but it's okay with me. I have just enough mana for a jump. I'm just going to leech the XP here. Just pretty much what you're supposed to do in a lane like this. Just kind of get fucked over. giving XP like this is annoying but standard I'm actually surprised how hard this guy is trying to freeze out and all we're doing is just avoiding the inevitable feed that would happen Usually. Now 
I mean, I'm doing a decent job of actually farming up here. He's kind of getting poked down. Which is funny if you think about it. gonna try to get a reset and get uh some damage still jump away. I don't have enough mana for a spike. Well, the build is supposed to be... Uh, it's a mana moon rush. So, that totally tracks. I'm gonna get refill here. TP forward. Let's try to leech some XP. thing about laning is you can give away all the the farm you want because as long as you're not getting snowballed on it's not a big deal because out of lane you still have plenty of opportunities to come back Strange choice. He flashed for it and nothing really happened. And now since he doesn't have ult, we can just chill out. in this bush guess not cool it's a nice patient play style we hanged on though I mean, technically, so far, we are 100% ahead of Darius in XP. He's got a speed on farm, but that'll happen.
Oh, well, we're not going to be ahead of XP if we're slow to rotate back to top. We are ahead of XP. We're fine. It's pretty amazing how slow this game is played up here. We do have Dragon as a win con though, which is nice. Wow, you got shit on. pays and it paid us in dividends there we worked our three worked our way through the early levels and we found a kill should definitely take a plate here I think tower here to this considering that i've been facing a darius this whole game and i haven't gotten any ganks it's not that bad To be honest. I can see why this guy pings others. I could see it.
I can see the logic. All it's about is hanging on. Oops. We gotta go for a flank now. Yeah, there's just nothing here. These guys don't know how to play these champions that they've picked. Oh, at least he killed him. Nice. Hey, at least we got three dragons. The way that I'm playing this match is how you're supposed to play assassins, like patient, reserved, into hard lanes. These guys are playing all skill champs like assassins and they're just inting. And that's why I always tell people that like I don't feel bad for assassins when they get like super nerfed. It's because most assassin players are terrible. Do you see how impossible it was for Darius to kill me? Like how hard it is if I play properly. It's not easy. It's not like some easy task. Well, they definitely get Baron here. There's no stopping that. It's taking forever to do it, too. I mean, these guys are just so asleep, man.
Okay. But you have an E, Ezreal. You have you have an E. Do you have an E button, buddy? Man, we just had a we just finally got a good fight too. Trying to push them out, but all right, let's try to get some armor pen next. exactly sure what's going on with these guys today but just try to wave clear as much as I can nice pick Fucked up. I think I just gave him a multi kill. Don't die, team. Nice. Double Sheen. Interesting. Well, I didn't lose this the game by dying there. Double Sheen. Double Sheen is OP, boys.
We just need wave clear right now. This is bad. It's not as bad as it should have been. What is this guy doing? get there in time. strong. Come on guys, you can do it. I know you can. Get Baron here, that's GG. Pretend well, it's not GG, but it's gonna get closer. gotten to this point now where we are late gamed out
All right, we pushed waves out. We've survived. We pulled ahead. Next P. And now we're going to start fighting. I think that's an okay fight. Ari's in a tough spot here to try to clean up. There it is. There it is. If we win this game, this is proof that you just got to be patient, guys. If, if you've ever needed an example of a game where patience pays, this is it. Flash. I don't know how a colleague stole that, but I'll take it. Oh, I got owned. We win? Yeah, we win. And you know what? That was a perfect example of why you cannot tilt and you must stay calm and play the game out and just make reasonable pushes, reasonable choices. Because you can win games even like this one, you could win. Even this one, you could win. That was like a perfect that was a perfect example of why you just play like even if you do something silly like Kha'Zix top look I did good damage I'm I didn't even play the last fight that great but we kind of got we got a lucky steal at the end we stayed calm we took fights when they made sense even in a tough matchup we didn't get any jungle help whole team was dying around us and the build was actually kind of cool um we just didn't have a comp that played off of it well our comp was terrible our comp was awful there was like very little synergy with any of our comp, but because the enemy team trolled around a little bit, threw some, threw a fight at the pivotal moment, and all of a sudden we get a lucky steal.